Hey everyone, I was uh, recently asked about uh, getting your TTM autographs authenticated. I posted a video of a return that I had of, of 20 uh, TTMs that I had sent in and they were all uh, authentic by Beckett and people would just ask what the process was. And you know, it's a good question because when I was sending in, I couldn't find very much information. So I'll go through what I did to send them in and uh, so you can kind of see before, after, uh, just some of the four by six photos that I made and then sent out to the, the players and celebrities to get signed. So I'll, I'll run through what I did and uh, hopefully it'll help somebody. So the first step is to go to the Beckett-Authentication.com website. Uh, I would recommend you going through and setting up a profile. Uh, that's where you can put your credit card information, your shipping addresses, and you can actually see your order status. Uh, that does not update a lot, so just kind of a heads up. Uh, but uh, here to start with, all you really have to do is go to submission forms right here. And you can either print your own uh, submission form or encapsulation form. It gives you step-by-step -step guides and it also tells you how to package your items. What I did is I just went to start your submission and here you can tell it, you know, do you want it just authenticated and they'll give you a sticker and a, basically a letter, of, a letter of authenticity or do you want the encapsulation? So if you want the slab, that's the encapsulation. And, and it does not come with um, with the sticker. I think you can add it on if you want it extra, but here it's just a slab. And then um, see if you can see here, it just says authentic autograph and it has the number so you, somebody can look it up. So what I just did, uh, select encapsulation, pick the standard uh, 30 days and I agreed. <clears throat> and then as you move forward, you know, do you want it encapsulated? Is it a baseball? Do you want the seal of authenticity? Is it maybe a slab that has gotten broken over time and then you just want it re-encapsulated? Uh, but I just picked the encapsulation, went to the next one. And then here you have a choice to basically set up what you're sending in. In this item section, and I know it might be kind of hard to see here, uh, it will tell you or you tell it what item you're sending in. And there are a lot of different types of items, whether it's a baseball, basketball, bat, whether it's a picture, um, a CD, CD cover, a check, you know, just, just going through, there's a huge list. So what I picked was photo since I was making these four by six photos. Um, the odd thing is, is some of them came back, they changed it to cut. So like you can see here, and a lot of them it said cut, and then a few of them still said photo. Um, it seemed like the cut had more to do with the, the sports athletes, and then photo was more for the, um, like I said, I got one from George R.R. R. Martin. Um, so, you know, I think those still said photo. And I've got another video up if you want to go and take a look at it. But here, uh, you just, you pick one, so... Um, I'll do this Bobby Hole that I just got. So I picked a photograph, number of signers. There's only one person that signed it. So you just put one, uh, the primary signer, uh, signer uh, Bobby Hole, and you'll see it'll start to auto-populate here. And then it'll tell you how much it, it cost to, um, to get it authenticated. And they're mostly different. So this one is $20. So you'll see signer fee, in this block and it says 20 so it's $20. The declared value here is basically the value that you give it uh, assuming that it's um, authenticated and it's really for shipping insurance uh, purposes. So once you go through this entire list you put your order together you know if, if you are giving it the value of $500 for all your items they're going to provide $500 of uh, insurance shipping insurance when they mail it back to you so you can put in whatever you want there uh, you can have them grade the the autograph if you want to that's an additional ten dollars you can just select the box here the letter of authenticity here 
And then if it's a card and you want them to grade the card as well, you'd select here. And then anything that's bigger than a five by seven, it's $10 fee um, for, for the larger items. Since these were four by sixes, um, you know, basically I, I, I got it for this signer fee. So like this bobby hole, it, it costs $20 to have it slabbed. Um, so, you know, you, you do that, then you can save and add more. Let's say, um, you know, $50 or something. So it, it added, and then you can just keep adding your items as, as, you, as you want. And then you can save to proceed. Uh, Here, let's do another one. It's it's because I said save and, and add more instead of save and proceed. So we'll pick another photo. We'll, we'll do the, um, we'll just pick somebody. Um, Ozzy Smith. Ozzy Smith is $20. We'll say, you know, we'll give it a $50 value. We'll save and proceed. So now <clears throat> here you can review your items gives you the, the list of everybody and then you just um, go to checkout and then it will um, basically give you um, a printout of, of the cost and everything that's associated with it. You'll go through your payment method, put in your, your credit card number. They didn't charge my credit card until they started the authentication process. And I'll also point out that they had issues charging my credit card that way. And I don't know if I called it before customer service could notify me, but I was able to see that there was a problem and I'll show you where I saw that. And I was able to call in and correct the issue. Um, so anyways, you, this is really just it. You follow that process. You have all your items that you want encapsulated, whether you want the auto graded, uh, whether you want the letter of authenticity. Um, you know, if you get it slabbed, it, it it says that it's authentic there and then you go to check out add your shipping address add your payment method and, and then move forward then uh what you should probably do is go through this packing guide and it tells you this is how you should package your items include the the submission form so you know basically it'll give you the option to print out the form when you go through that previous process i would recommend printing two copies one for you to keep and then one to include in the package when you ship it. Here's the shipping address. Tells you how to, you know, basically take it to USPS and drop it off. So if you want to verify, basically use the, the USPS uh, tracking to make sure that it gets there. Once it's accepted, they'll put it into your profile here. So like I'll go into my account here. I think they're maybe personal information if it pops up yeah so here's where you can see like your contact informations and so forth so orders this is the one that that i just got back um, it'll show your submission number your invoice number and the number of items the date it received um, so this one it uh it was received by them june 4th they sent it back to me this this past week so uh, that was about August 25th or 26th when that came in. Um, so you can kind of see they're running two and a half months right now-ish, I guess, uh, on their submissions. Even though when you're going through the form, it says 30 days. It says 45 days here. When I talked to customer service, it said more like 60 days uh, to 90 days is what they're running right now. Yeah. And, uh, okay, ship day was 24. Um I, I just sent in another order, so I think I sent in about 17 more of these these custom photos that I made and had had uh, you know the the players graciously sign for me. I, I really appreciate what they do, um, and I was going to send all of those in. And even though I have a, a printout of the invoice number uh, or the submission number, it's not on my list. Um, they have not received it yet just shipped it yesterday, so they should get it maybe Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll see it here. So this status, um, it basically tells you where it's at in the process. 
I did see that there was an issue. It said, it said problem ordered or problem order, I think is what it said. So I wasn't really for sure what was happening since, you know, that was my first try at it. You know, I, I filled out the form like I thought. I packaged it the way that, I, you know, they, they described and I sent it in and then I didn't really hear much at all from them whatsoever. So, um, saw that pop up, gave customer service a call. They just said, hey, there was just an issue with processing your payment. Even though my credit card's on file, uh, they just had an issue. So, uh, we were able to, to solve that and, and get it moving pretty quick. So, I wouldn't say you need to basically check it, you know, every day, but it might not hurt. You know, once you start getting a little bit closer, you know, check it once a week or so just to make sure that it, it is processing and it is moving along the process. Um, but they did uh, notify me when it was shipped, uh, provided the tracking information. So that was pretty much uh, what I went through to get the photos uh, encapsulated. Um, so wasn't a lot of information on it. I hope this helps someone. And um, you know, like I mentioned before, you can it's more than just photos from that one page, you know, just going into going back to submission forms, you're able to select, um, you know, a lot of just different types of submissions, you know, a lot of different types of items. And there is a ton of them here, but just know that they may, uh, they may change it if they think it's something different. Like I mentioned, they label some of these cuts instead of photos. For me, I don't really care. Um, some people may, but I don't. Uh, so anyways, I hope that helps somebody. Um, good luck on your submittals. I hope everything comes back authentic and, uh, and hope everyone has a good one.